Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Uh, I thought I would take a little bit of time to go over Fritz 19. It's a software set that I've used for quite a while at this point in time. Started way back in the day with maybe Fritz 14. Might have had some software solutions prior to that, but uh, 14 definitely came with my DGT board. As I do use that from time to time, I thought, uh, hey, you know what, let's upgrade the software and show a little bit about some of the capabilities. So this is the opening panel. You can see the play chess solution uh, features. Uh, so there's Blitz, Bullet, uh, all this stuff online. You can watch live games. I've never really used play chess, to be honest. Um, but hey, you know, if you log in with a chess based account, you essentially get uh, the play chess, some of the online apps, things along those lines. Uh, we might detail a couple of those elements a little bit later on. But I think for today, we are here to just take a look at playing an easy game. We'll take an opponent here who is positional and we have, uh, okay, so it's on beginner. So we'll just great uh, to click see on you, that. Old boy. Ready? Should drag it over to the proper window here. And as you can see, uh, there's going to be automatic hints. You can click that on or off, click and check and auto play. Uh, we'll leave the talking feature on for now. And you can see that it opens up with D4. Uh, so we will uh, make a couple moves here. Uh, we will play, um, yeah, probably not a, a whole lot more moves. Um, you know what? We will just do this for now. And uh, it's going to say, hey, the position is equal. Uh, and it unlocks kind of in a gamifying way a bunch of different types of, uh, um, you know, cards, essentially. And so it'll give you cards for uh, anything new that you do. So, you know, interesting night maneuver, you could get a card. Uh, sacrificing a piece, you can get a card. So it does try and make the game kind of fun. Uh, one of the other things that you can actually see over here, we have the eval bar, essentially. And so it kind of just plots along and shows uh, how the game is doing so you can see that there was a slight advantage here later on in the game that uh, advantage uh, diminishes a little bit some other cool things that you can do of course are going to be uh, things such as um, you know adding on automatic hints if you're a beginner um, so maybe what we'll do is um, okay so we we made this move Morning. Uh, so I just press spacebar there and basically that forced the computer to make a move. Um, so Threaten a night move. that's something that you're able to do, right? Just press spacebar and, and force that maneuver. And so here it's saying threaten a night move. Okay, so let's do this move. And I think if you wait a little bit, it will uh, just give another hint, basically. So I think that this counter... Attack the queen. Yeah, this counter is basically... Uh, doing exactly that right so um, one of the other things that we could do is go click and check for example so if i click and hold this bishop it doesn't do anything right now but if we go click and check for example uh, it just immediately turns an engine on essentially and so if we hold that and it'll show okay the uh, d7 and b7 squares are bad and it's showing green as being a good square on a6 so we can make this maneuver it's showing that it's being defended by two knights and it's also showing that it's attacking a queen so it's suggesting that this is a good move as you can see it also said here that black has an edge at this point in time so again it's going to just uh count down some time attack upon and then wind up giving um giving a little bit more uh hints essentially to make the game that much easier so um again with the click and check on we can you know again click and it's going to say, you know, hey, this is a good move. Um, what if we click the knight, for example? Okay, so it's saying maybe trading the knight, um, even though likely we would just be um, dropping a rook in that scenario. But pretty cool. And again, if we look here, uh, you can see just the slightest advantage here for black at this point in time. Uh, so over the course of the game, you know, slight advantage for white and now coming back into black's territory. So uh, keeps the game pretty visual for people who are learning, especially. But of course, um, you know you can you can never win if you want to go to the grandmaster level, for example. And uh, let's just you know click on click on this here, and you know you're gonna get absolutely smashed in uh, in no time whatsoever. Yeah, uh, you know what? Let's uh, 
Let's do this. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we're going to just get into an absolutely terrible position. And we got some sort of award here uh, for Fianchetto. Um, can't move a pawn on the queen's side. Can't really put it in here right now, but um, pretty cool that it does that. Oh, of course, we have click and check and uh, and the hints on. So we would take those off, of course. Uh, some of the other interesting things that you can do, though, are going to be uh, things like playing blindfold, right? Um, this is something that we might, uh, you know, let's go to a new game for and go blindfold. And so it's saying, hey, our opponents played E4. Um, so maybe we'll play C5. Okay, so Knight C3. Let's play D6. Okay, so we're getting into an open Sicilian. The Knight takes back. Um, so I think maybe what we can do is develop here. So Knight comes out. Um, can we, what can we do? Okay. So already, uh, I forget <laughs> where we're at, but luckily you can right click here and it's going to superimpose what the position looks like. Oh, of course. Uh, so I didn't actually play E6 in that scenario. Um, so maybe what we will do is, uh, do exactly, exactly that. Uh, actually let's just play A6 in this scenario. Okay, so they developed their bishop. Now we can play e6. And let's just castle. Can we not castle? Oh, we didn't get the bishop out. Yeah, see? So we'll do that. And we will castle. And now let's take a look at the position. And yeah, we're we're basically at the point of uh, looking to uh, drop drop a knight. But this is a really great way, I think, to actually build up uh, your blindfold skills. Uh, it's not something that I'm looking to play, but really for me, it comes down to visualization. It's something that I'm particularly poor at. Um, but if you execute games within this mode, uh, I think that it has a good opportunity to actually be able to improve it. So it's probably one of my favorite features of the software set. Um, but having said that, of course, there's tons of stuff that you can do within it. Uh, we're really not here to detail all those things today, though. Um, I just wanted to show some of the functionality of how you can play a relatively simple game against a computer. Um, again, spacebar to kind of force those maneuvers. Uh, you can click play blindfold if that's what you want to do. When you right click on that, it'll bring the board so you can kind of refamiliarize yourself with the position and carry on. So it will just develop the night here. Um, and uh okay so now it's playing queen to d7 or sorry d2 in this scenario and yeah okay so our position's not amazing here <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination you can see already uh that white has a nice advantage um but hey you know what that's what happens when you play a grandmaster or, or at least when i would play one i'm gonna get absolutely smashed so uh, yeah, point of the video is to just show some of the cool stuff that it's capable of doing. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll probably be back in the future with a couple other quick and interesting things that you can do within this software set specifically uh, prior to going back and detailing some stuff within Chessbase. So thanks for watching, and if you want to see anything specific, let me know. Thanks a lot. Bye.